what's going on guys, it's Cynical and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts video. Today for you guys, we have something very, very exciting to talk about as recently three users have finally managed to data mine Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep. Now you guys know me, this is something that I have been requesting for such a damn long time, as of course Square Enix kind of have this long running history of being known to uh, hide a few things within the files of their Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, throughout the extent of like Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts Hearts 2, Birth by Sleep, Dream Drop Distance, deep within those files uh, we've always managed to find really cool removed pieces of content or like beta ideas and concepts within these files and for some reason Square Enix just likes to leave them lying around. Now I was kind of thinking along the same lines with 0.2 Birth by Sleep especially because of the fact that this game is going to be using the same technology as Kingdom Hearts 3. I was being pretty hopeful that perhaps maybe deep within the files of 0.2 Birth by Sleep they could potentially be assets from Kingdom Hearts 3 that were once in 0.2 but Square Enix ultimately thought to themselves, all right, let's scrap this. Now, I've been requesting this for a very, very long time, and a lot of people came back to me saying that this task is extremely hard uh, because the security behind games on the PlayStation 4 are pretty top-notch, making the task almost impossible to do. But bless the light, three users have risen up to the challenge and have successfully datamined 0.2 Birth by Sleep. Now, what I want to say is, as of right now, these three users known as Key to Truth, the third vessel as well as Xenomo, um, as of right now they are currently still working towards finding different pieces of like hidden content within the files of 0.2. So let's take a look at some of the stuff that these guys have found so far. Now I just want to start off by saying that all of the things that these guys have found within the files of 0.2 so far um, are not new pieces of content, they're not content that Square Enix were planning to use and then have since scrapped that content from the actual final game, but for some reason have left that within the files of the game. It's not really so much that stuff, and that's kind of the stuff that I was personally hoping for, but more so, I've uh, got an interesting look at different assets that have been used within 0.2, and like I said guys, all of this stuff is still a work in progress. Uh, Key to Truth, 13th Vessel, as well as Exanimo, uh, these guys are still hard at work trying to find different pieces of content within these files. So the first thing we have right here is an untextured model of Lushu, and as you guys can clearly see, we can actually see his face in which we know that we have not seen the appearance of Lushu, nor have we seen the appearance of the Master of Masters. So interesting to know that there is an asset of Lushu's model within 0.2 where we can actually clearly see his face. Now like I said, these are untextured assets, and all of the different assets that I'm going to be showing you guys today will be looking like this, with the weird looking red, blue, green, and yellow effects going on. We would be able to get a better look at Lushu's face right here if of course it was textured, but it makes me think that there's probably not a textured model or asset of Lushu with his face, only because we don't actually see Lushu's face within 0.2 as well as Kingdom Hearts key back cover. However though, the face that we're seeing right here really could be a base concept on what perhaps maybe Square Enix are wanting for the face of Lushu, in which we might actually end up seeing within Kingdom Hearts 3. When I was looking at this face, it really really reminded me for some reason of Terra, I don't know why, but his kind of facial features when looking towards the, uh, the eye position, the nose position, all of that kind of stuff just kind of reminded me of Terra. I'm not really too sure if there will end up being some sort of a connection between Lushu and Terra, but I definitely got those Terra vibes. Next up, we have a demon Yen Sid. As you guys can clearly see, this is an untextured model of Yen Sid from Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep, and he's got those beautiful, luscious red eyes, as you guys, as, as you guys can see. Now, you, you been smoking Yen Sid? Dang, bruh. Next up, we have an untextured model of Arca right here from 0.2, and again, they are looking very very weird because they are missing their textures. I was actually reading some tweets from these guys and they were saying that they are trying to figure out a way of getting these assets and getting these models, but getting them textured. Next up again, we have an untextured model of Kyrie from 0.2. We actually have two different models here, where one is simply using a brownie sort of gray color on the model itself, with a few bits of blue and red on her hair. And then of course we have this other model right here where we can see those really weird coloration effects on the untextured model colors like blue, green, red, and yellow. Next up is the box itself. Yes, guys, we have solved the mystery. The case has been closed. There is nothing in the box. 
Deluxe. Yeah, so remember that secret that the Master of Masters was uh, telling Lushu in Kingdom Hearts Key back cover? He was like, yo, dude, so about the box, there's actually nothing in it whatsoever. I just wanted this to be a thing so that it can serve for a sort of important plot point. But really, it is just a prank, that there's nothing in there. But no, what we have right here is an untextured model of the uh, mysterious box that we see within Kingdom Hearts Key back cover as well as Kingdom Hearts 0.2. I mean, this is the first time we've actually ever seen the box open, and of course there is nothing in it because the box was not meant to be opened within 0.2 or Kingdom Hearts Key back cover, and so that is why we're seeing nothing in the box as of right now. But interesting that there is an opened version of the model of the box within 0.2. Maybe at one point Square Enix might have been thinking, alright, in 0.2 we might actually display the contents of the box. Next up is an untextured model of the Star Seeker, in which Mickey uses in 0.2 Birth by Sleep. I actually really like the weird texture coloration going on here with the Star Seeker. It actually works really well with the Keyblade. Next up we have an untextured model of the newest and most annoying Heartless Edition to Kingdom Hearts, Ziwoto Core. This right here is Cinderella's castle as well as the courtyard un- textured. Now, this right here really, really piques my interest because it's looking a lot different to the castle that we actually see or go to in 0.2. As you guys can see, this is Cinderella's castle and it's complete with the courtyard, the very courtyard that we get to actually run around and explore in within Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. We don't get to see any of the courtyard area whatsoever within 0.2, but interesting to know that the complete castle along with the courtyard attached is actually within the final of 0.2. Now obviously Square Enix went with a different approach to the Castle of Dreams world or section if you want to call it uh, within 0.2 Birth by Sleep where we actually got to explore the town village area of Cinderella's world opposed to that of actually exploring a destroyed and darkness filled castle. An interesting an interesting direction that Square Enix went with, uh, definitely changing it up, because obviously in Birth by Sleep, we got to explore the Castle of Dreams, but we actually went into the castle itself. Here, it was very clear that Square Enix wanted us to explore a different area of the Cinderella movie, and so with that in mind, they obviously went with the idea for the player to explore the township area. And lastly right here is a untextured sphere, or ball, which, uh, I, I don't know why this is here, Maybe Fruit Ball was going to be making a return in Kingdom Hearts 0.2. Oh, how I wish! But yeah, some random untextured ball. However, though, thus far, that is currently all of the assets and interesting stuff that these guys have found within the files of Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep. And like I said, it's really nothing new, but I think it's just really, really awesome to know that uh, three people have actually made it possible to explore the files of 0.2, where so many people were saying that this would not be possible. They said, hey, Kingdom Hearts 0.2, it's basically a video with playable levels. Every cutscene that you see in game is just a video. I thought this comment was interesting because when it comes to Kingdom Hearts, and I mean like a lot of games, usually what developers do is their cutscenes take place within the game's engine, opposed to actually just pre-recording a video and then chucking it into the game's files. And so a lot of the cutscenes that happen within Kingdom Hearts 2 or Kingdom Hearts 1, when they're happening in different sets that we don't actually get to explore in, in the actual game itself, through the means of hacking, we're usually able to access these cutscene only areas, as these areas are actual areas with inside of the game's files. Think of them in a way as sort of film sets. Where Whereas in 0.2, from what they're saying here, a lot of the cutscenes within the game are just recorded cutscenes, which is impressive. When I was looking at the different cutscenes when going through 0.2, I was thinking to myself that these cutscenes were taking place with inside of the game engine itself, rather than just a pre-recorded cutscene. They said here, we also found models for other characters, Yen Sid, Kari, and Riku. Sora, Donald, and Goofy haven't been found as of yet. And going back to the whole cutscene comment, if that is true, where most cutscenes, or pretty much every cutscene, scene in 0.2 is just simply a recorded video, then getting the assets and models of Sora, Donald, and Goofy probably won't be possible as they're probably not in the game's files but only appear in that cutscene video at the end of the game. However though, like I said, this is still a work in progress so I'm hoping that over the next week sort of thing, uh, these guys will be able to find some more secrets and little things hidden within the game's files and yeah, hopefully find the models of Sora, Donald, and Goofy. However though guys, with all that being said, that is all for today's video. I'm going to leave the links to Key to Truth, 13th Vessel, as well as Exanimo. I'm going to leave their YouTube and Twitter links in the description down below. But with all that being said, guys, I've been Cynical, and until next time, I'll catch you dudes later. Peace.